it sounded to me like you were saying early stage. And when, when I had the innovation fund at St. Joe's, we were focused on strategic investments that helped us deliver care. And the thing about that was we generally use that money to solve problems that people weren't solving yet. Right. So it was, it really was early stage companies, people with really smart ideas, really brilliant. And they were sort of playing around and, and we brought them in and then we provided them guidance. We connected them with our people and said, no, 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 you have to understand the business model. You have to understand these things. And then they would build out these solutions that would eventually create value. So we were dealing with really early stage companies trying to so solve things back in 2015, 16, like AI and, and ML and those kinds of things back then, because we, we saw the trend, but it wasn't going to be something where we were going to go out, out and buy a tool in 2015 that was doing machine learning and AI. But we wanted to get we wanted to get there. Are you guys predominantly looking at early stage, or are there other types of companies you're looking at? I think this is what distinguishes the let's call it the small to mid sized health systems and the really large ones. Bill, is that for us, well, when I was at Bay State, the margins were razor thin, and so to be able to, I don't want to say experiment, but get into something that is maybe five years out was was not something that Bay State was interested in. So yeah, something that makes that, sense. You know, could, could you make, could you help me with my discharge or my, my ED throughput in the next 12 months to 14 months? And they're mid, and that's why you sort of the mid stage, late stage kind of company model. Cause we knew that those individuals maybe already had a series B, they had some funding to put in, they had a, maybe a couple of customers, but they needed somebody bigger and they could solve our problem within the next, you know, six to eight months, or at least start to, to tackle it. So that, that was for us what differentiated our, our identification of those innovators. And because they're at Series B and whatnot, they had longevity. You, you knew they were going to be around. 